Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, Linjiru is coming out bold enough, warning and sympathizing with William Ruto himself and his government. He's coming out telling William Ruto that this Gen Z movement is not over yet. And he must expect another storm that is going to hit him hard because there are a lot of problems that William Ruto is unable to solve for the people of Kenya. I sympathize with the current administration. They have a big, big problem. You know, the Gen, Gen Z problem is not over yet. It's just a lull before another storm. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that, calm before the storm. Yes. I told you here very clear, but some people are not listening. Remember, the so-called Gen Zs, these are young men and women. They are so energetic. And they can surprise you anytime, any day, any month, any year. These young men and women, they are so energetic. And they will shock William Samuel Ruto. I've heard that they are bringing back the Finance Bill 2024. If I was close to William Ruto, I could have advised William Ruto not to bring back this Finance Bill 2024. Because this fi uh, Finance Bill 2024 that was striked by the Gen Z movement, if they bring it back, this is going to accelerate the revolution in this country. Let not anyone lie to him that because the ODM members are in the cabinet, Kenyans cannot come out and demonstrate. And this time round, you will be shocked. It might not be occupied status, it, mi it might not be occupied status, or parliament, or even Supreme Court, but it will be a call that William Ruto to recite. So he must trade on his good goods carefully, or else things are not going to be good for William Ruto and his people. I've seen them now coming back, you know, arrogant. And even sometimes you can listen to them. Seems like those who understand everything. But if truly you can study how the so-called William Ruto's government is behaving, launching projects from one village to the other, no money to start those projects, but the man is recording videos, having photos, left, right, center, showing that he's busy delivering to Kenyans. Have you seen several projects have been launched but stalled? The only tricks and tactics these people are using is eventually launch, they pack their instrument, they, uh, they took back to the, state, uh, the, the store. And that is how William Ruto is using his method to confuse Kenyans as if he's working, but he's just a busybody. So this old man, Linjiro, is reminding William Ruto this Gen Z, it is not yet done. Things might come up hotter and William Ruto himself might not believe. So he must trade on his goods in a way that is going to favor the interest of the people. If already the old people, our parents, have already act uh, 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 acknowledged, acknowledged that the movement of Gen Z is so little, then William Ruto himself 
together with his bloggers, they believe that it is just nonsense. But I'm telling you, as a young man, things are going to come that you might believe, you, you might not believe your two eyes. And I told you here very clearly, it is going to be peaceful and someone might resign. That is what I told you. Some individuals said that it is just something fake. I'm saying something that can't happen. When the Gen Z's said that they're going to storm the parliament, the same thing they told us, that ah, Akuna, you cannot manage even to storm the parliament. But remember one thing, the movement was so determined to ensure that the voices of Kenyans are going to be listened to. Were these people ready to listen to the people? Not really. Because they are, the CSS of William Ruto by then, they were so arrogant. The MPs, little arrogant, they could not even understand some situations and issues that were affecting people. In terms of taxation, I want to tell you here, let not William Ruto bring back the Finance Bill 2024 financial year. This might become a final revolution that William Ruto himself might not believe his two eyes. On the same note, remember one thing. These young men and women, they are so energetic that even you who are seeing that we've, we've fought for this country for a long period of time and nothing has changed. And I told you, that is your period. This is our period. And things are going to change literally and you will be shocked. It will reach a time that anyone elected must be accountable. Anyone elected must account for everything. And if he or she found squandering or misusing the public resources, he or she might face the wrath of the people, leave alone even the judiciary. Because I've learned that we are having independent institutions, but terribly failing us on a daily basis. And you can't say anything because they are dining and whining with the government of the day. How then will you expect them to come against the government of the day? They are whining, dining together. We are having independent institutions, failing us day in, day out. Look at judiciary, look at parliament, look at DCI, look at ESCC, look at police, look at IPOA. We have big problem in this country. And those individuals who are holding these offices, these are just tumbokers. They don't have the interest of serving people with quality services. And that is why when we are seeing that these people must go, then some individuals are asking us, where will they go? They must go and rest home because they are unable to serve the interest of the people. So Lee Jiru is just reminding the government of the day. You just continue playing around. There's a storm that is coming. You might not believe. They might force you to get out of those offices. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.